Hey guys, Staple Gun here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of the Ipswich Town career mode. Now, I know what you're th thinking, right? Last episode, I said I was going to leave it at the Portsmouth episode and I was going to play uh, the Portsmouth match. Well, I did. But I won that game 2-1, but the Wi-Fi went out. And then after that, the electricity went out. So the capture is gone. And to make it worse, the save file thinks I lost the game. So now I'm second in the table. Just because my electricity and my internet is not strong enough. So yeah, it's just... This save has been, so, has been wronged so many times in just this one week but anyway let's move on we have this game against Gillingham I know they're at the bottom half of the table so I'm going to simulate this game and we get a 3-0 win thank the lords because I'm pretty sure the save file just has something that's wrong with me but yeah we'll move on to the next game okay guys we have this game against Lincoln they are 12th on the table so that does mean they're just, just in the top half. So, I think I'm going to play this game. Just to make sure we win. However, I don't know if I'm going to win or not. Because I really don't know anymore. We're now in world class. If you may remember that last episode, we officially changed it. But anyway, besides all that, let's get into this game against Lincoln. Okay, we're in Lincoln. It's an away game, I think. It's a home game. It's an away game. Crown Lane. So, come on, Ipswich. Guys, it's about to be halftime. And it is now. Nothing has happened. It's a nil-all game. Um, I can't really see anyone doing really badly. Barry Sheila is doing really good at centre-back. But nothing really much is happening. Let's hope the second half picks up. And let's hope in the good way for us. Come on, Ipswich. Guys, there's finally a goal. Finally. It's Tammy. It's Tammy Abraham. This kid, he just knows how to score. I have got him on a two-year loan for a reason. I capitalized on the fact that the game still still has an update the fact that he's not loan listed and amazing little finish side netting as well we're 1-0 up let's just hope we can keep this lead 76 minutes come on Tammy guys I was literally passing it around the back we have a win 1-0 we've won against Lincoln it should have been a bigger it should have been a bigger score because I had before Tammy Abraham's goal I had a goal disallowed for offside and I had two shots that hit the post and that even that was the inside of the post so we've got a win finally we have finally got a win after playing a game in League One and we are now top I think just by goal difference so anyway, let's move on to the next game. So anyway guys, here is another game we're going to be playing. It's against Wickham Wanderers. They are 8th in the table, if I am right. Um, I don't have any time to rest my players. I'm literally, and I have to play the exact same team every single week. Because I have no one else. But anyway, world class. I really don't know how this is going to go. If we scrape to win against 12th. Are we going to get a draw here, guys? I really don't know. But anyway, let's get into this game. It's against Wickham. It's an away game, if I am right. Court lane. Come on, Ipswich. Guys, Adebayo Akinfenwal just scored against us. We're 1-0 down. Why does this always happen? My defense, at some points, just decides to give the ball away A and then they allow runs in the box not allowed to do that but anyway we go again 
guys we we equalized just before half time and i mean it just had to be him didn't it tammy abraham getting us back in this this kid i think he's the top goal scorer in the league i think maybe just behind aiden mcgeady but that is a first time shot to save her come on tammy that is his ninth oh then i don't think he's in the top goal scorer list because oh yeah because he was injured in the middle of the season but anyway that is half time we've been dreadful we've been absolutely dreadful this half i mean that was that one shining moment but then that's about it really in this half we've really done we've really done badly but anyway let's hope that changes probably won't because my team gets more tired as every single day goes but anyway yeah it just happens guys it's jamie norwood off the bench for leading jamie norwood that is 2-1 let's get in lads come on come on that's 2-1 i mean he just blasted it i just blasted it that literally hit the top of the net that is beautiful jamie norwood that's his fifth goal in league 1 come on ipswich guys we lead 3-1 we lead 3-1 teddy bishop off the bench an amazing performance from the bench teddy bishop and on this occasion he does and he scores teddy bishop we have finally assured ourselves a win we have finally given ourselves a definite win in this league finally guys it's going to be full time anytime soon it's full time 3-1 brilliant win from the boys that was a good performance second half first half we were really sloppy we were giving away the ball we even were behind we started 1-0 behind but then we moved to 3 to a 3-1 win amazing performance from the bench that is exactly what you call a super sub from Jamie Norwood okay guys we have this um round of 64 fa cup match against oldham athletic i'm going to simulate this match hopefully no one gets injured that's my only problem at this point no one got injured it was a 4-1 win that's amazing for us and this next game it's pretty big guys it's pretty big guys you see it right semi finals of the carabao cup versus man city we couldn't have got a favorable draw literally everyone was really hard but this is another press conference garvert is in good form switching tactics uh how do you deal with the mental pressure uh, associated with the following match against manchester city pressure is high for everybody uh first of all congratulations on your amazing win against oldham athletic care to comment on your team's morale in regards to your next match the team is in high spirits the team is in high spirits and you're going to see an experiment i'm trying i know right why am i experimenting against manchester city well because currently kaden jackson he's he's not giving me enough he's fast sure and he's a pretty good player in this game it's just that i feel jamie norwood's been scoring so much he deserves a start so i'm going to try out this abraham norwood partnership in the carabao cup and let's hope that at least we can lose gracefully because there is a second leg maybe nick an away goal maybe but i'm not expecting a win or a draw in this game i'm expecting a loss let's hope we can lose gracefully though at the had stadium it is a beautiful away game i have very strategically decided not to get updates for the next game just so i can it can put me in a little less of a pressure area because seeing the other team perform well it's, it's going to put me in stress and i just need to see this uh, manchester city team and i see de bruyne i see Phil Foden, Ederson, 
I see them playing a full team. I'm a Porter. Bernardo Silva, Aguero, Sterling. I don't see any signings. I don't really see any signings. Maybe they're on the bench. As you can see, Angelino is there. Aaron Zahavi. That's a signing. This is going to be a hard game. This is going to be a very hard game. But anyway, the match is underway. Guys, we lead at the Etihad. We lead at the Etihad. It's Freddy Sears. It's Freddy Sears. And it was a beautiful move. First time shot, if I'm right. Yeah. Through ball from Abraham into the side netting. We, le we beat Leicester 4-1. We beat Chelsea. Uh, we've nicked an important well, away goal that is a very very lines. important goal and it could be a difference maker probably not but it's given us a beautiful mindset come on Ipswich guys we've scored a second it's Flynn Downs that is definitely world class because they are pushing me like crazy. These are all counter attacks. We're not dominating this game. We're 2 0 up. And I think, yeah, he chipped him. Yeah, Flynn Downs had the cheek to chip Edison. That is a beautiful goal. We are leading 2 0 at the Etihad. Come on. Guys, it's about to be half time. What must the other semi final be thinking when they flip over to see that we are leading 2 0 at the Etihad? We've got two away goals. As you can see, we're being dominated. They have 63% of possession. That's crazy. We're still leading 2 0. But anyway, second half underway. Guys, it's about to be full time in what could be the most monumental win in probably Ipswich's entire history. We have won 2 0 at the Etihad. So, this game apparently thinks we lose 2 1 in a home game against Portsmouth while we win 2 0 away at the Etihad against Man City. But what a win. Everyone was playing so well. Muric honestly mutated to a demigod in that match against his old team as well. Ipswich won the away game by two goals. Do you agree? Now you have the best chance to qualify in the Carabao Cup final. We need to stay focused. Why didn't we see Garbutt play team comes first? You were able to close out the game before half time. We deserve this result. We deserve Thanks, this son. result. That was and such a good win. Who are you? Tristan Nydam? I have not played him. I have not played him at all this entire season. I think that is the last thing we're going to be playing. That's the last game we'll be playing this episode. But we will simulate this game against um, Accrington Stanley. They are towards the bottom half of the table. I swear if now we lose this game, everyone's just going to start memeing about us on the internet. Okay, 3-1, but uh, Aristotle and Siala has been sent off. That is not favorable at all. <laughs> we'll see the next game. Okay, guys, we have this uh, game against Tranmere. Um, let me just quickly change this a bit. Yeah. We have this game against Tranmere. They are, again, towards the bottom half of the table. It is an away game. So, yeah. Let's just hope that no one gets injured in this game. I don't even... Okay, we got a 3-1 win. No one got injured. That is perfect for our season. And, yeah, we'll move on to the next game. Okay, guys, I'll leave it here. For the next episode against for this game against Fleetwood in League One. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I'm really liking Staple Week so far. It's been so fun 
to make all these episodes. But anyway, until the next episode, peace.